everybody, this is Praxis, and today we are working on the south face of the house and the south edge of the southern roof. Uh, we've got the scaffolding up here. I moved it yesterday from over there all the way over to here. We set it up initially uh, right on the corner here and, and did the, you know, the corner face. You see the vertical uh, foam that's right next to the windows up there. And then uh, this morning, Josh and I moved it over to this position, and we're just kind of slowly going across as, uh, you know, as we finish up a section, we go over the next section. I'm doing both the front and the top because it's such a, a hassle to move the scaffolding around. Uh, when we did it initially, I just put it right on the ground in wooden blocks. The, for the second move, you can see I got cinder blocks on the bottom. Uh, that is to just get it up a little bit extra. It's about 16 inches higher with those. So it means that I, I can be one step lower on the ladder. Things just seem a little bit more stable that way. So we've been going across the, um, the weather forecast is that tonight we're supposed to be getting up to an inch of snow that's going to be uh, you know here in the morning tomorrow. Tomorrow is also, also going to be really, really cold. So I think tomorrow is going to be sort of the, uh, the social day for River to get out and hang out with his friends. We're going to go to a children's museum with some of his friends and use that day for that because it's going to be really cold. There's going to be snow kind of covering everything. And if we just wait a couple of days after that, the snow should melt off and we can finish up this stuff. We're getting really close to being ready to put on the actual metal part of the roof. Once we uh, you know, get across here, really putting on the, uh, the insulation on the majority of the roof, it takes less than a day to do it. So once we get this all finished, we're really talking about like one day to finish up this roof, and then we'll take a second day to you know, just finish up the, uh, the very top peak. Because as you recall, the other day I went almost up to the peak, but I just kind of left it open because uh, the boards hadn't been finished up there to give us access to come, kind of come in and out, access the tarp. As you can see at the moment, the tarp has been kind of pulled in through that hole. It's been really handy having that hole up at the top of the roof so I can access things that are up on the roof without having to climb up onto it. So if this is something that you, you ever do, I would highly recommend leave an access point up at the top of the roof so you can, you know, put that tarp down, bring that tarp back up and not have to be like, you know, on ladders and everything because that could, it, it feels uncomfortable. And I've been, you know, in some uncomfortable situations this morning. So again, that's what we're doing today. Just moving right across the snow or the precipitation anyway is supposed to start in about an hour. So, you know, at the moment it's okay. There was a little drizzle this morning, uh, but after an hour we're gonna be on borrowed time and we'll just, we'll see how much we can get done. But right now, uh, Josh is working on the inside. So even once it starts drizzling and stuff out here, uh, you know, we can both be in there and be slamming away at the ground, compacting all that so we can hopefully get concrete in there really quickly because as soon as we get the roof on, we're going to be getting those windows delivered, you know, any, any day now. And if we can get the, deli uh, the delivery taken inside and put the windows inside on top of a concrete slab, instead of having to put all the windows inside and then pull them all outside to pour the slab and then bring them all back inside, <laughs> um, that would be a lot easier. So that's kind of why we're rushing on the, the floor and rushing on the roof Rushing on everything, really, unfortunately. That's it. Thanks for watching.